So I'm today we're on. Do you want? Do you want to? Here, go with the top or something. I don't know how that is. It's like a hair. Can you blow? Blow? No. Just do it. No. Do it. I don't Just do it. it. No, it's weird. <laughs> I'm not gonna blow in your eye. Jeez. <laughs> no. Let me pick up your eye drop. You're so weird. No, it will just blow. It's a little like hair, so that it needs wind. It doesn't need water because it's gonna okay, go okay, deeper. Okay. Don't look over. Right. <laughs> yeah. Are you sure? <laughs> like a little dust thing in my eye. Don't do that for me, okay? Someone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Intro finished. <laughs> We're gonna speak English today because next to me is my very good friend. What's it called? Wall. 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 So today we're gonna share styling tips for different body shapes. And I think it's gonna be quite interesting because Taylor was a former model and she's a really cool content creator in Hong Kong, based in Hong Kong now. Yep. And I started my YouTube journey because of Taylor. She's like, you just do it, Joyce. Just freaking do it. It's been a long time coming. You've been thinking about it. I kind of yeah. gave you the nice little push, like a little nudge, yeah. a soft little. It wasn't soft. You were like, if you don't do it, Joyce, I'm gonna be so angry. <laughs> <laughs> she was in Japan, and I was like, it's now or never. You can create like Japan is amazing for content, and Joyce has this incredibly big, shining personality that I just love to be around. So I just wanted to Thank share you. her with the I'm world. I'm already moist. Just FYI. Uh -huh. yeah. okay. Sorry. Taylor, do you mind sharing what clothing size you wear? US, mm -hmm. I would be probably a zero to two. To four. Uh, it depends on the brand. It's and the cut. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Zero to four. Okay, cool. I am a US uh, 14 to 16. So we clearly have very different body shapes and sizes. And so we're going to show you guys how we dress according to our shapes and sizes. Mm. What's your height? I think that's another important factor. I am, I think we're quite similar. I think you're a scotch taller. I'm 169 centimeters. Oh, I'm 170. Literally one centimeter. There you go. <laughs> so let's show everyone our first outfit. Okay. So this is our first look. It's our skirt look. Mm -hmm. And today I've chosen a pencil skirt, a leather pencil skirt with a bit of like a cuter kind of hem detail. And I'm pairing it with a vintage tee and a pair of chunky monkey heels. So I like to choose more fitted, more form-fitting clothes because I think contrary to popular belief, a lot of people who are a bit heavier, who may be plus size, they feel like, oh, they want to cover themselves in more volume or with more clothing, more layers. But for me, I like to have my silhouette shown. I'm actually wearing space underneath to like kind of suck in my midsection a bit more. And so I always like to cinch in my waist, have it really nice and form fitting. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's why I often choose pencil skirts. And then with these shoes, it really elongates your leg. Yes, because you can see more of the top of my feet. Yeah. And um, it's just like a bit more. And the pointed toe. The yeah. pointed toe makes it go off. This is the pointed toe. And this is a monochrome look, which always Flattering on almost anyone. It is? Yeah. I like pencil skirts too, mm -hmm. but like you, I like to focus on other things. So I got a little bit of a flat foot, so I like to show more of my leg rather than the shape of my butt. So I like to have really um, loose, frilly skirts. Mm -hmm. And then I love juxtaposing ideas, so I like to mix really like feminine, floral prints with more like masculine. Um, edgier boots. Mm -hmm. So that's why I like to mix it with the Doc Martens. Yeah. But I like to keep them a bit open so that you can still kind of see a little bit of the ankle so that yeah. it's not too um, tight. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, and I like to pair this with just a simple t-shirt. I also like the look of a chunky knit on top of skirt too. But these are all items I've had in my closet for such a long time so I feel like they never go out of style. Um, even though these weren't like like this skirt is um, from Zara, and this is this sauce or something. Mm -hmm. But they're simple items, and they last long, and you can wear them like forever. And I think another great thing about your skirt, since you did mention that maybe you don't feel more confident about your butt, I feel like a fluffier, more ruffly skirt mm -hmm. kind of 
gives that illusion of like a perkier yeah. bum too. Exactly. Yeah, so different body shapes, different little tricks. Mm. And this is our second look, the high-waisted pant look. So Taylor, this is one of my favorite, favorite go-to outfit choices because I have a longer torso compared to my legs. So um, I always like to wear a pair of high-waisted pants and I like to tuck my shirt in because actually with high-waisted pants you can trick the eye into thinking your legs are much longer than they are. Mm -hmm. And I pair them with these pointy toe slippers. And um, yeah, my leg actually starts here. But with this high waistedness, um, and you can fall straight, looks longer. Yeah, I actually apply the same thing. I like high waisted pants, mm -hmm. but I think the key thing is no matter what the leg is, whether it's wide, tapered, tapered, <laughs> tapered skinny, straight, whatever, is to have your waist really cinched. Like yeah. you've got to fit your waist well. Mm -hmm. And then sitting up here, yeah, makes your leg look a lot longer. Yeah. Um, I actually have a shorter torso mm -hmm. and longer legs. So having a V here, like, like oh, your long torso, yeah, it'll part. lengthen your torso. Mm -hmm. Or you could wear like a necklace like this yeah. to make it look a bit more lengthened. And then also I chose nude shoes that are pointed so that will elongate the legs. Yeah. And then a little hack that I want to do for my pants because since they touch the top of my shoes, yeah. it's kind of baggy here. I want to bring this in to be tighter. You can just take a, an elastic mm -hmm. and put it on your pant and roll it up. Oh. So that will bring them in tighter. So now you can see more of the shape of my leg. Yeah. So that it comes in. That's a great yeah. hack. And I really like your top too. This is something that's really super pretty that I would love to try, but I tend to stay away from just because it'll make my shoulders look wider, my head look even smaller. I already have like a larger body compared to the size of my head. So I think it's all about keeping your proportions correct, right? Okay. Um, if there are RuPaul's Drag Race fans out there, it's about proportionizing. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Yeah, I think that's why I also, I like this kind of cut because mm -hmm. it like makes my hips it's a bit width. wider yeah. whereas my hips are smaller and my chest is smaller so it kind of brings this out and this out yeah totally you have more of an hourglass shape with this outfit mm -hmm. also i went for monochrome too like yes. choice for the same reason it's very elongating very classic so we're talking about colors i'm gonna add that i chose on purpose some really deep colors because i always feel like when you choose like a rich kind of wine red or like a forest green um, these are not particularly expensive pieces of clothing, but it looks more luxurious, it yeah. looks more expensive. Yeah. So um, for all my budget queens out there, you can take note of that too. Yeah. All right, next outfit. Hey, so this is outfit number three, the blazer. Taylor, how do you usually style your blazers? Okay, so again, lately I like to go for juxtaposing ideas. So because a blazer is sort of formal or businessy, yeah. I like to match it with something cozy or casual, like uh, jeans or a leisure, which is with what I'm wearing right now. Um, and I like that this is very tight, and then I paired it with an oversized blazer that's quite loose. Yeah. So I can kind of wear it like off the shoulder or on and then also I paired it with more simple elegant sandals mm -hmm. to elongate the, the legs even more. I've been loving bike shorts lately but I always like to look for some that aren't too long because if they go to your knee they're gonna split your leg in half and make it look shorter so you either want to go shorter or sort of where your leg starts to taper and at the knee. Oh, yeah, so that's, that's a good tip. Part. So I usually go for actually not so much the oversized blazer because like I mentioned earlier, um, I tend to not want to add any width to my looks and I really like to accentuate my waistline. So even if I'm wearing this double breasted blazer open, um, it still kind of tapers in at the waist a little bit, which gives me a bit more of a shape. And once again, I'm using the high-waisted pants um, 
secret, I yeah. guess, um, to trick the eye into thinking my legs are a lot longer than they are. Once again, it's a monochromatic look. Yeah, we both went there. Yeah, <laughs> really, it's really cute. But um, I also want to show everyone if you do want to go for an oversized look, especially if you're a plus size girl like me, how you can style an oversized blazer and not have it be too crazy. Overwhelming. Overwhelming, yes. Oh. <laughs> it's really heavy, doesn't it? Because it's all wool. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> so um, this is an oversized blazer. I really love it. It's really heavy. It's um, wool. It's from Stella McCartney, one of my um, investment pieces mm -hmm. that I got from mattressfashion.com. And I just like to drape it over my shoulders. Oh. And I think when you drape, you can have your arms out. Um, your high waisted pants still kind of makes it look like your waist is cinched and it's long, your legs are long. And um, I feel like it gives it more of like a trendy kind of like high fashion. <laughs> Look, I like wearing it like that too, but it's yeah. hard to do anything. Like you would yes. wear a damsel in this dress, like yes, you, or you need the T-Rex hands. Like, but you, you know can. what's really cool about this jacket? Oh, I was wearing knit hot. There's a sash, and it's got buttonholes on it, and you can oh. do this, so it won't fall off. So it won't fall off, and I just feel like it oh. gives it more of like a edgier look. Oh, that's really cool. I've never seen that before. Right? And so like, even when I wear it on, um, it's cute to have like a little detail yeah. there. Yeah, so I hope that's you can do anything. I guess. <laughs> oh <my> God. <laughs> but it's still kind of, no, but it, like yeah, I go side. Kinda... Does that have to be sides? No, just one side. Oh. But it's still there. You wouldn't yeah. lose it. I just want to, for contrast, show you guys how it looks if I were to have it like on, on. I will lose all my shape. Right? I'm just kind of drowning. I still like it on you, but. <laughs> so, yeah, these are our tips for blazer looks. On to the next one. The final one. The final Final countdown. <laughs> and this is how we style our dresses. What dress did you choose for us today, Taylor? So I like two styles mostly recently. Mm -hmm. One is a midi dress. Of course, I like it to be cinched in at the waist to highlight the waist. And then I like this very simple sort of uh, classic look. Yeah. This is a very popular style in Korea. So it's a way that I think it really helps your makeup, your accessories and your shoes and your handbag to really shine. Mm. It's just very simple and elegant and I like it just with a simple ponytail usually too. Yeah, it looks very like minimalistic exactly. like with little details here and there. Yeah. Very, very nice. And, and I know I... that this is from your store, oh, Tote, right? right? Yes. So if you guys are interested, you can click the link in the description box. I know YouTubers do that. <laughs> and then I just matched it with some nude sandals to, of course, elongate the legs too. Very nice. And then I love monochrome it. look again. Exactly. I was just gonna say, beautiful monochromatic look, and your hair color matches too. Oh. <laughs> yeah. And so um, I've also chosen a belted dress because, like I said before, I really like to accentuate my waistline. And um, this is just something I feel that gives me a very like rich housewife feel, like Thai Thai life <laughs> feel. Like I, oh, I wear this to church, you know what I mean? But um, I really like the classic geometric print. Um, I like that it has pockets as well. Yeah. And um, yeah, it's just a very comfortable, natural silk material. And um, it makes so nicely. Right? Really and it's actually got more of like a straight cut, but with the belt, um, it just like centers in the waist a little bit more and it's just very flowy. It makes things feel more light and I like that there's a slit on the side. There's these little tiny flaps. 
thingy. Mm -hmm. And I paired it with a pair of T-strap sandals. I think it gives it a bit of a retro vibe. And um, I usually stare clear from shoes that cut me off at the ankle, but I feel that with a T-strap, the, the T in the front um, adds to that elongatedness anyway. So yeah. it kind of balances it out, right? Yeah. So yeah, I know that you also prepared another dress. Yes. yes, and I also have an extra dress too, so let's go change and show everyone. Okay. All right, and this is our final dress look. We both chose green. Yeah, we chose a lot of similar things, actually. Uh, these kind looks of, are very different, but... So like they always have something in common. Yeah. So um, I really like this dress that I'm wearing. It's one of my favorite dresses. Thank you. It's more of like a fun, kind of outdoorsy, I was thinking maybe like tropical wedding guest yeah. type look. Yeah, I love the structure to it. Yes. Oh, this this bone, there's like boning here, so it like stands up. Nice. And it fits me like a glove. So once again, it's very fitted in the waist. It's that pencil skirt kind of vibe. But my trick is because I don't actually have a very um, accentuated waist. I'm more like straight down. And so I like to choose dresses that are a bit baggier at the hip. Okay. So it kind of gives the illusion of having like a fuller hip for me. And um, I like showing a little bit of shoulder because I think that's sexy. And I feel good in it. I mean, a lot of people say big girls should stay away from big prints, but I feel like once you know the rules, you know how to break them and just have fun with it. Whatever you feel comfortable in, whatever makes you feel badass, kick-ass, sexy, wear it. Yeah, because at the end of the day, that comes out across more than what you're actually wearing. The exactly. The confidence a woman holds, her smile. Yes, yeah. and I feel really cute in this dress. Yeah, so. you look cute. I Thank you. It. Tell me a bit about your dress. So this is just a classic wraparound dress, another thing that I feel like never really goes out of style, so I like to have them in my closet and it's always just really easy to throw on, it's really comfortable and it can go from day to night depending on what accessories you put with it. So because I put some casual sneakers, this is sort of a daytime look like shopping, running errands or whatever, but it's easy to turn into a more glamorous with a heel and like makeup and an updo and more jewelry. Um, I like it because there's a little slit here, so it is elongating mm. on the leg. And then it's also V-shaped, so it elongates my torso a little bit because I mentioned I have a shorter torso. I also put a necklace that is sort of elongating too because it's a lower V. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> I really like it. It gives me um, notebook vibes. Oh, okay, yeah. Like, let's go on a picnic or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So these are our styling tips for the day. Hope you like them. So those were our styling tips for the day. What do you guys think? Was there anything that surprised you? Um, I think I didn't realize little things like you, how you don't like the shoulder. There's little things that I didn't realize you did. Yeah, like I really don't like adding width to my shoulders because I feel like my head is already really small for my body. But um, yeah, just little things, I guess it's, not so much like a general tips thing, it's more of like what I've learned from myself. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think style really comes with age and with time and trying things out. I do love trends for the idea that you get to try something new and you discover new things that work really well for you or it just keeps things exciting. But then with age, you start to really sink into what your true style is and what really works for you and then yeah. make investment pieces. Yeah. So I think some of these tips are things that are sort of longer lasting things that can always look good yeah and um, just a reminder guys what we shared today these are just like guidelines for what has worked for us um, at the end of the day go ahead wear whatever makes you happy whatever you feel confident in and I think like you said earlier that's the best accessory you could have mm -hmm. so hope you liked our video today um, we also made another video on Taylor's channel so you can go check that out as well thank you for coming on to my channel it's my first video on your channel yes I'm so happy so um yeah that's it see you guys next video <laughs> we're so hungry let's yeah, go eat <laughs> <my shirt. laughs>
happen because you're so white. <laughs> Hey!